Good morning, coming to you, you know, from my uh, home office this morning. I've been working on uh, the last video here in my series, all right, for uh, you know, my trip to France. Uh, what you're going to see here in this video is a trip from uh, Tournan out into the mountains on a steam train. I used my Olympus TG6 to take images on the outward bound leg, and then I used the Pocket 2 for video on the leg back to Tournan. Uh, I took, you know, put this together for you to see. Now, why did I use the Pocket 2 for video and not the TG6? As you saw in my previous video, I just don't really like the, the video quality of the TG6. Too shaky, image stabilization isn't good enough, and I really didn't like it. So I figured I'd use the Pocket 2 because I get better video. All right, so we'll jump into the video here. All right, and you can watch it, you know, watch till the end, and you'll see uh, I get the opportunity to to hear my comments about you know, using a point and shoot or an Olympus TG6 as a travel photography um, camera. So stay tuned to the end. Thanks for coming along.
right, so what did I think of the Olympus TG6 as a uh, travel photography camera? I didn't like it. All right, for a lot of reasons I didn't like it. To be perfectly honest, I returned it as soon as I got home. All right, so why is that? You know, the images themselves had a lot of noise in them. All right, I, you know, found myself trying to sharpen things up and, you know, take some noise out on almost every single image, even at ISO 100. And above ISO 800, it really wasn't usable. You know, the range 24 to 100, 25 to 100 actually was okay, but it certainly could have been better. All right. You know, beyond that, the video quality wasn't very good either. All right. Now, I did get some good images, so I mean, it's not the end of the world. You can do that. Now, the other thing I found that was, was difficult, as you see here, I'm wearing these glasses. All right. I couldn't, I couldn't see really the images on the back of the camera without glasses. I really need a viewfinder to be able to do it, and this doesn't have a viewfinder. So I, you know, again, just found it not to be really conducive for anything that I like to do. You know, now, for you, you may find that to be a little different, but you know, I just did not like what I got out of it, and I felt my iPhone really would have done as good or better. All right, so you know, you be the judge. All right, so this is the end of the the series for the Olympus TG6, and as I said earlier, it's been returned. All right, now you know, we'll see what I do in the future. I'm not really sure in future trips what I if I want to take uh, just my. You know, R5 or if I'll, you know, look to bring in something different. Not really have made up my mind on that yet. We'll have to wait and see what the future holds on that. All right, so thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the series. Please, you know, leave me some comments down below on what, what you think, you know, is a good camera to use from a travel perspective that's light and easy to get around with. What do you like to do? All right. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until we see you again, stay safe.